Hi, this is Sarah Swan and I'm the creator of Two Becoming One Healing Arts and I create videos to help people learn self-love and self-worth through the eyes of trauma using the creative arts. Today I wanted to talk about complex PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. So if someone is suffering from complex PTSD, it means they're suffering from multiple traumas. Um, so a little known fact is your brain is constantly scanning your current environment. So if something is happening in your current environment and your senses come in, like you see something, you hear something, you feel something, you think something, um, that is similar to something that might have happened in the past, um, your brain will flag it as um, this is something to be worried about, um, to be alarmed about because your brain also has at the same time in your current environment it stores visceral memories like of things that have happened in the past so if something happened in the past that caused you pain or caused you a trauma your brain is going to be wait don't do this and it will all of a sudden go into this fight flight freeze fawn response which is like this hyper awareness mode where like all of a sudden you have high anxiety you get cortisol in your body and like you you suddenly like for me i scan my environment for visual cues that could be um, like all of a sudden i see everything in the room i hear everything in the room and everything is just hyper aware um sometimes like i'll even get like kind of shivery um in my body um i'll get like brain fog where all of a sudden i'm just really confused i can't hear things i'm like in my head all of a sudden um my memory doesn't work like Yesterday I had a response and I got a trigger and shortly after I had to fill out paperwork and I barely could remember my address like it was like gone um, and um, So like you'll go into that and you're just hyper aware now when I said fawn fight sorry fight flight freeze fawn um, Those basically are different like kind of states that you can take so if you're going into this like fight response You might get super defensive if you're going into a flight response, you might like all of a sudden have distractions. You might like watch too many YouTube videos, which I did. Um, you, you might maybe play video games or watch a movie or too many Netflix. Um, you might also, um, I, flight also for me is like, I had it like recently, like for example, like wanting to be in nature or listening to music even, um, like taking a walk can also be this kind of flight because you want to like kind of escape that moment. Um, just getting away from whatever's bothering you. Sorry about the airplane. And then if you're in the freeze response, you'll stand still. Like for me, I literally like just kind of, I like yesterday, I just, I wanted to make myself small. I wanted to make myself invisible. I suddenly stopped talking. So like, it just, you, you stop literally. Um, and then for Fawn, it's more of a codependency thing. Like for me, I start people pleasing. I start thinking about the needs of other people rather than myself. I, um, I start like just codependent kind of stuff like caretaking and um, it's just it's crazy how you can go through these responses um, so I wanted to share a little bit um, now that you have like the basis of what it means um, <laughs> the wind's blowing <laughs> um, as you can see um, I wanted to share a little bit about what it feels like. So yesterday I had, I started a new job at this like art place and I'm going to be teaching people how to paint and I have to do it their kind of style. And the first time I went there, actually this was the second time, the first time I went, I was fine. And I realized, yeah, I'm social and I can do this. The second time it was a larger group and um, I was being instructed how to do it and the person who was instructing me kind of took over for me and as soon as she did it flagged in my brain um, 
this kind of, you're faulty, you're not good enough. And I literally started feeling these thoughts, like these emotions of I'm not good enough, I'm faulty, I'm making a mistake, I can't do this job. I started feeling helpless, incapable. I um, literally froze and I tried to be invisible. I didn't speak, I couldn't speak. Um, I couldn't interact with the people in the room because I was in my head. Um, I was also at the same time, I was worried about their needs because I like someone needed something and I was like flicking myself to come over there and just help that person right away. Um, and I also like brain fog, like I felt really confused and kind of like just weird. Um, I felt like this heightened awareness um, of, of like just um, hearing the sounds in the room um, and everything going on at the same time. I was also like judging myself really harshly, like that inner critic, the one that's like super, super moral came up and would say stuff like, you're not good enough, um, your needs have to be ignored, um, and I would have to be like, I would have to counteract it. I would have to be like, no, this is my second time here. She's just trying to teach me. It's okay. I'm safe. Like, I would have to come up with these, like, affirmations um, that it's okay. Um, and I did counteract it, um, but it took a while. Like, I could feel my body just tensing up during this whole experience. And it's a not a fun feeling to feel. Um, and also, like, I just I felt myself becoming submissive and just, like, doing whatever other people wanted. And just, it's, not, it's not a fun experience. I can tell you from my experience, it's not fun. Um, and also, like, for me, it's, like, the high anxiety. Like, it was just through the roof. And um, so if anyone is suffering from this, like, know that you're not alone. If you're suffering from PTSD or complex PTSD, you're not alone. Um, it does come from multiple, and it comes from multiple sources. I mean, for me, it was um, abandonment trauma, sexual abuse, financial issues, um, feeling helpless um, is a big one for me. Making a mistake. If I make a mistake, oh my goodness, it's like constant, like, trigger um if i'm anything less than perfect but so we all have our different reasons for going into these responses but just know that you're not alone if you're suffering from this and for those that aren't suffering from it know that sometimes like i was in this environment and no one knew they didn't know i was doing this they didn't know um i was keeping my internal world internal and um not external and then i didn't tell anyone I didn't ask for help, even though I, I would have said, hey, I need five minutes to leave this room, and leaving the room would have, like, literally instantly cured it, like, I could have done tapping or EFT, um, I could have just been out of that environment, because once you leave that environment that causes that trigger, you can calm down your brain, because the whole point is you need to calm down your brain when you get triggered, because if you can't, like, it just gets worse, it's like a spiral, um, so if you see anyone that you think might, now you can be aware of what might they be feeling if they're having this. So, um, yeah. So thank you. Um, I hope this helped. And um, I'll see you next time. And, of course, be your own lighthouse. Thank you.